Hello, we are going through so much. Like I've never seen so much horrifying, terrifying, traumatizing things before in my lifetime that I've seen since 2020. Uh, you know, it goes a little before 2020, up until this day. Now we're dealing with the UK wanting all black people off their off their land for something one person did. Watch this video. I just watched the video, uh, I think it's August 7th, I'm not sure, but um, this is the video about the UK wanting all blacks out of the UK, okay? I read a comment that said, I didn't know that the British had this American behavior. excuse me this is not american behavior this is british behavior this is the uk's behavior on their land the british land in their country this has nothing to do with america did this bullshit start with the british am i missing some shit i don't even you know what let me go back and find out exactly what he said. i did go back and get his name i'm going to insert it in the video um This is just really unbelievable to me, for real. Like now we have black people in the UK that's getting beat up, robbed, probably unalive, businesses being looted. They are afraid to come out of their house to, to watch the people talk, to be, to be on live and on just social media. You can see the terror in their faces and the, you know, people crying and, one young boy scared to look out his window a fear that they might see him and come and break his windows like this is how y'all feel like because y'all think what think or maybe a black person did kill three white girls that every single black person should pay for it how do y'all fucking figure that shit like i said y'all know what what we've been through in life Everybody in the world, every race, keep creed, and color know what we go through in life, what we've been through in life. Why the fuck do y'all want to keep making our lives motherfucking worse? Like, why do you want to make everything be our fucking fault? I mean, it's saddening. Because when y'all come to America, we don't do y'all like that. I don't care who the fuck y'all are. We don't do people like that. Maybe maybe in America, we're a little more humanized. Maybe that's why we don't treat people like that. Because y'all all come to our country and do all kinds of shit. Now, of course, I know how we're treated in America, which is why a lot of black people are leaving America. <clears throat> I know how we're treated. We're treated like that everywhere. But we don't do other people like that. Is that is, isn't that interesting? We don't treat people that way. <clears throat> so for y'all to... This man is saying, well, this is our country. We want y'all out of here. This is our country. This is our country. We want y'all out of here. Really? This ain't gonna be a cool video because I really don't even know what to say. Like, I'm sick. I'm saddened by it. It's disturbing that we don't have nowhere to go. Like, we really can't go nowhere. Um, and, and even in Ghana, because I can only speak of Ghana, it's a big chance that this shit could happen again in Ghana. The, the you know, the Europeans could come take over again because they're so quick to sell each other out on the government level. Before y'all come for me again and say, you know, stop spreading lies about Ghana. I'm not spreading no lies about Ghana. You keep in mind, I don't care if you lived over there 10 or 20 years. I was, was over there three and a half years and I saw enough to speak my truth and my experience and my story. Um, what's happening in the UK is sickening. 
what happens in America to black people is sickening. What's happening in the UK with black people is sickening. It is sad. And these people are over there. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. They can't hide anywhere. All they can do is st stay in their homes and hope that these people don't know that black people live in these homes and then start to come and tear their houses apart or unalive them in their homes. It doesn't seem to be any help. And I'm gonna watch some more videos and turn the news on, but it doesn't seem like anybody's coming to their defense and I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm gonna go watch some more videos to try to see if I can get yeah. So according to the news article I just read, 150 people have been charged in the UK riot and 600 arrested. That's good news that somebody's doing something because it just to me doesn't look like anybody's doing anything but of course the law enforcement doesn't outweigh the citizens you know you have way more citizens rioting i'm sure than they have law enforcement and uh i don't know if they're part of the united nations or whatever it's called now i don't know if the u.s will eventually get involved in this but this is going to get ugly so somebody needs to oh but kimberly why would the u.s get involved there's no black americans over there is that what you think i don't know why the u.s will get involved i just want to know if they will but you can best believe there's some black americans over there and then we have let's just talk about the europeans that don't have nothing to do with that they, they have absolutely nothing to do with it. They don't agree with it, no matter what country they live in. There's Europeans, there's Caucasians, white people, whatever, watching the same news that we're watching and their heart is breaking. Because everybody is not down for this. Everybody doesn't agree with this type of treatment and this type of behavior. I acknowledge that. Just like a lot of Caucasians or Europeans or white people, living today had nothing to do with the damn transatlantic slave trade they have no, had nothing to do with that half of them don't know shit about it so they really don't know the truth about what happened but they get looked at because of things they get looked at and treated a certain way because of what their ancestors did the same way we do we get accused of shit that we don't know nothing about because of something somebody else did so yeah, it can kind of go both ways, but you know, we get the ass end of the shit always. It never fails. But I do understand that there's some Europeans that uh, there's probably some people in the UK, in every country, everywhere that does not agree with this, that feel bad for us, that wish they could help. Um, so we won't attack everybody like they're doing us. We're not gonna involve everybody because that would be kind of hypocritical, right?